know. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, as we gather for this special United Nations Culmination Program, we are honored to begin our event with the singing of our national anthem, followed by a heartfelt doxology and an opening prayer.
bow your eyes and bow our heads. Dear God, we praise and thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for our loving parents that prepare us for this event. Thank you for our teachers who always support us. Thank you for our talents that we will show today. As we start to celebrate our United Nations, we pray for guidance and protection. May this day be filled with your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Now that we've paid our respects to our almighty God and beloved nation, it's time to officially kick off our United Nations culmination program. To guide us through this exciting journey, please welcome our talented and charismatic hosts, Zai Dries and Bryce Hino of Grade 10 class. Zai and Bryce, the stage is yours. Guten Morgen. Bonjour. Buongiorno. Buenos dias. Zo Shanghao. Ohayo gozaimasu. Good morning. I'm Bryce Rihino. And I am Zaidriz. We're, We're your, your hosts host for today. today. Welcome to this exciting celebration of diversity and unity, where we invite you to join us on a spectacular journey through the theme of equality, freedom, and justice for all. That's right. Today, we're live on Facebook, reaching out to a global audience. Hello to all our parents and friends watching us on Facebook. Hello there. We are so thrilled to be sharing this special event with all of you who are joining us from around the world through the magic of the internet. Our theme today reminds us that equality is the foundation of a just society. It is the belief that every individual, regardless of their backgrounds, deserve respect and fairness. That's right. And today, we have something truly special in store for you. Each class will take us on a cultural journey as they showcase traditional dances from different nations. It's a celebration of the world's beautiful mosaic. And each dance will tell a unique story representing the heart and soul of their respective cultures. So, we invite you, our dear audience who are watching us right now, to not just be spectators, but fellow travelers in this incredible journey. As we watch these dances, let's reflect on how the themes of equality, freedom, and justice transcend borders and languages. But before we begin, we'd like to take a moment to appreciate the beautiful traditional attire that we are wearing today. You're looking stunning, Zai, in your very interesting cultural outfit. <laughs> Thank you, Bryce. You're looking equally fantastic in your attire. Thank you. <laughs> the colors and patterns in your outfit are truly mesmerizing. It's amazing how our clothing tells a story about our culture, just like the dances we're about to witness today. Absolutely, Zai. So, are you ready to immerse yourself in the enchanting world of cultural dances and the timeless values of equality, freedom, and justice? Yes, indeed. I am thrilled to embark on this extraordinary journey, and I can sense the excitement of our online audience radiating through the screen. Yeah, that's right. So, esteemed ladies and gentlemen, students, cherished families, and dear friends, Welcome to our United Nations Culmination Program! But before we dive into the colorful world of cultural dances, we have a very special message from our beloved Principal Dr. Elaine B. Praxidio. She's currently in Michigan, United States, but she's taking the time hey, to send us. Good morning to everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. Am I on? Okay, good morning to all of you. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Today, we are celebrating the United Nations program. Do you know that the United Nations, or UN, was established? 
on October 24, 1945, after World War II, its formation was a direct response to the horrors of war and the urgent need for a platform where nations could come together to address global issues, promote peace, and foster momentous occasion, reminding ourselves of the purpose and principles that the United Nations uphold. The importance of unity among nations cannot be understated. We live in a world that is increasingly interconnected. What happens in one part of the globe can have far-reaching consequences in another. We all have the responsibility to pray for the ongoing conflicts around the world, such as the conflicts between Russia and Ukraine, Israel and Hamas, as well as the tensions between China and other Asian countries. It is crucial for nations to work together to put aside their differences and to strive for peace, justice, and prosperity for all. In the Bible, we find guidance on the subject of nations and unity. In the book of Psalms, chapter 133, verse 1, it is written, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. This verse reminds us that unity is a source of strength, harmony, and blessings. When nations come together, when they act as brothers and sisters on a global scale, they can achieve great things for the betterment of humanity. Our school's United Nations program is not just an event. It is an opportunity for all of you, our bright and talented CCS students, to learn about the world beyond our borders, to appreciate the diverse cultures and perspectives that make our world so beautiful, and to recognize the significance of cooperation and diplomacy. Through your cooperation, participation in this program, you are contributing to the spirit of United Nations, showing that young minds can lead the way towards a brighter, more unified future. So, as we come together to celebrate this year's United Nations program, let us reflect on the lessons of history, the importance of unity among nations, and the wisdom of our shared values. Let us work towards a world where peace and cooperation prevail, when, where nations collaborate for the common good and where the words of the psalmist are made manifest. Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. I appreciate all the teachers and staff who made the event who made this event a special one. We always remember the United Nations celebration as a time when we can appreciate different cultures from around the globe, especially when our students get to dress up in other countries' national attire. Thank you, parents, as well. I know you will enjoy watching our students. Thank you, and may our school's United Nations program inspire us all to strive for the for a better world where nations unite in purpose and peace. So, welcome students and parents. I hope you will enjoy this time together. God bless you. A huge thank you to our principal, Dr. Elaine B. Praxidio, for her inspiring words, even from miles away. Yes, indeed. Her message sets the tone for our celebration today. As we continue with our program, it's now time for a very special moment. The awarding ceremony of the Flag Quisby winners! This is where we acknowledge the hard work and dedication of our students who excelled in the flag quiz. And to do the honors, 
please welcome our assistant principal, Ms. Lizelle E. Makabangon. Good day, everyone. We're here to celebrate our students' achievements in the Flag Quiz B, highlighting our commitment to global education. Congratulations to all participants for their hard work. As I announce the winners, I would like to invite each of them to come here to receive their well-deserved certificates. Let's start with Grade 1. Talia Kamrin L. Villamil, third place. Second place, Sofia Erin T. Soriano. First place, Ramiel Zachary T. Aviles. For grade two, third place, Riley Kristen C. Saluco. Second place, Alexi Celestine M. Sacking. First place, Sean Matthew M. Sendatan. Grade 3, 3rd place, Aaron P. Pastor Fide. 2nd place, Amari Gabriel M. Sacking. 1st place, Kent Rovic D. Gomez. Grade 4, 3rd place, Jacob Emanuel A. Soriano. 2nd place, Gabriel Denise D. Espolo. 1st place, Lance Aylen G. Francisco. Grade 5. Third place. Sandia Denise E. Reyes. Yeah. 
second place, Jewel Lohan S. Residuo. First place, Jared Adam B. Bamin. Grade 6, 3rd place, Paveli Casely T. Bautista. Second place, Leigh Kaiser D. De Castro. First place, Michael Christopher C. Samson. For Junior High School Department, Grade 7, 3rd place, Noel Rafael F. Brihino. Second place, Lamarcus Duane C. Santillan. First place, Elisha Noel S. Banzuela. Grade 8, third place, Marcus Bryce M. De Leon. Second place, Samuel Chael A. Marañon. First place, Catherine May T. Kalua. Grade 9, for our third place, we have a tie. Abigail Caris T. Leona and Ethan Justin B. Tan.
Second place, Zachary Nathan R. Nicholas. First place, Anjali Brooke M. Sakin. Grade 10, third place, Charlize Nicole T. Kalua. Second place, Amanda Bryce F. Brihino. First place, Maria Teresita M. Gatbonton. Congratulations to all our winners! Your hard work and dedication to understanding the flags and cultures of the world is truly commendable. our co-students excel. Isn't it, Zai? Yeah, absolutely, Bryce. Our school is filled with talented students, and it's a joy to celebrate their achievements. But now, it's time for the most awaited part of our program, the Cultural Dance Showcase. That's right, Zai. We have a sensational lineup of dances from all around the world. Get ready to be transported to different countries to feel the rhythms and see the beautiful movements that tell stories of different cultures. It's going to be a mesmerizing journey through music and dance, showcasing an unforgettable celebration of unity in diversity. We encourage everyone watching on Facebook to get into the group, feel the energy, and enjoy every moment as each class takes the stage and leads us on this breathtaking adventure. So ladies and gentlemen, students, families, and friends, without further ado, let the Cultural Dance Showcase begin. To introduce the first performance today, here with us is Enzo Enriquez of Grade 10 Class. For our very first performance, we have our youngest stars, the kindergarten class. Get ready for an adorable and heartwarming spectacle. Our kindergarten pupils will be showcasing different national costumes, and they'll dance to the uplifting tune, Hello to All Children of the World. It's a perfect way to start our cultural journey, celebrating the innocence and curiosity of children as they explore the diversity of the world. So without further delay, Let's give a warm round of applause to our kindergarten class as, we, as they take the stage and enchant the, the, us with their delightful performance.
absolutely delightful performance by our kindergarten class. Let's give them a big round of applause to show our appreciation. Now, it's time for the next breathtaking performance. And joining us on stage to introduce the next class is our enthusiastic host, Sophia Chu. As we continue our journey around the world, we're taking you to Germany. in Germany is a celebratory and traditional folk dance. It's a joyful expression of German culture and is often performed at festivals and gatherings. This lively dance brings people together just like the sense of unity we're celebrating today. So, get ready to be transported to the vibrant streets of Germany as our grade 1 students showcase their incredible moves in this lively performances. What an electrifying performance by Grade 1 representing Germany! Let's give them another round of applause! They were amazing! And to keep the excitement going, let's invite our segment host, the one and only Sean Montaliana, to introduce the next class's performance. Thank you, Zion Bryce. It's a pleasure to be here, and I'm excited to present the next class's performance. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts, because up next is the grade two class, representing the beautiful nation of Spain. Culture, and for their performance today, grade two will be treating us to the fiery and vibrant art of flamenco. Flamenco is a passionate and rhythmic dance style, known for its intricate footwork, expressive hands, brings it to life. 
So, get ready to be captivated by Grey 2's performance. Let's give them a warm and enthusiastic welcome. That was an incredible and lively performance by Grade 2 representing Spain. Let's give them a big round of applause. They truly brought the spirit of flamenco to life. Definitely. And now, let's keep the momentum going as we invite our segment host, the charming Juro Sobibi, to introduce our next performers.
Thank you, Zion Bryce. I am delighted to be here, and I am excited to present the next class performance. So everyone, brace yourselves for the upcoming captivating performance by grade 3 as they represent the magnificent nation of Italy. with dancers often using tambourines and castanets to add to the excitement. The dance gets its name from the tarantula spider, as it was believed to be a cure for its bite. Today, it's a joyous celebration of Italian culture. So get ready to be swept off your feet by grade 3's performance. Let's give them a warm welcome. A big round of applause for the grade 3 class representing Italy! That was a dazzling performance. They truly brought the spirit of Tarantella to life. Bravo, grade 3! Now, before we continue with our cultural showcase, let's take a short pause for a little icebreaker fun! That's right, Bryce. It's time for a trivia quiz. And here's the exciting part. For our parents, families, and friends watching us on Facebook Live, you can participate too. Even if you are joining us online, you have the chance to show off your knowledge. We've got some fascinating questions lined up. And for our Facebook audience, feel free to type your answers right into the chat box. Let's make this interactive and engaging. Stay with us as we dive into the world of trivia and have some friendly competition. Let's see who's the cultural expert among our wonderful audience. For this round, I'll be reading the questions. And I'll be revealing the answers. All right. We'll be giving you all 10 seconds to answer each question. Are you ready, everybody? If you are, send in heart reacts. I think they're all ready. Let's do this, Zai. Okay, Bryce. For the first question, after which major war was the United Nations Charter established? Three, two, one, send in your answers.
The answer is World War II. Founded in 1945, directly after World War II, around 50 nations met to establish the UN as a successor to the League of Nations. Good job to all those who got the first question right. If you didn't get this one correct, don't sweat it because we're showing our second question. On what date was the United Nations formally established? Three, two, one, type in your answers. I think this was mentioned earlier. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's see if you guys are attentive. The answer is October 24, 1945. The UN Charter was signed on 26 June 1945, and following its ratification, the UN formally came into existence on October 24, 1945. That's incredible! It's been 78 years already! Whoa! Alright, let's head to our third question. Hopefully, you guys will get this one correct. Who inspired the creation of the United Nations? Three, two, one, type in your answers. The answer is Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt declared a need for a trusty ship of the powerful. After the League of Nations had failed to prevent the World War II, and in 1945, the United Nations came into being. Whoa, things are getting heated in the chat box. Glad to see you guys participating. I'm sure they're ready for the next question. What do you think, Zai? Yes, I think they are ready. All right, for the fourth question, how many official languages does the UN have? Three, two, one, send in your answers. The answers. The answer is six. The United Nations has six official languages, as I mentioned. These languages are Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Russian, and Spanish. Having multiple official languages allows for effective communication and inclusivity among member states. Wow, you guys sure do know a lot. This has been a lot of fun. But are you guys ready for the last question? All right. As of 2023, how many states are members of the United Nations? Three, two, one, send in your answers. The answer is 193 states. As of 24th October 2023, there are 193 member states in the United Nations, each of which is a member of the United Nations General Assembly. Want to accelerate the trivia quiz we've had? You all did an amazing job, and it's been great to see our Facebook audience participating actively. But now, it's time to conclude the first segment of our trivia quiz and continue with our captivating cultural showcase through the performances of the Intermediate Department. Get ready to embark on a journey through North and South America with us. And as we proceed, we're excited to invite our charismatic segment host, Dwayne Santillan, to grace us to the next destination of our cultural odyssey. Ladies and gentlemen, Fasten your seat belts because the grade 4 class is about to transport you to the land of dreams.
marks and bustling streets. So, get ready to be whisked away to the heart of the USA as grade 4 takes the stage to perform this iconic song. Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray Town blues are melting away. I'll make a brand new start of it in old New York. If I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you. That performance truly captured the spirit of New York, New York. Let's give them another big round of applause. And now, dear audience, brace yourselves for the next thrilling chapter in our cultural tour. To pilot us through this vibrant voyage, we welcome our wonderful segment host, Misha Miranda. Zayn Ate Bryce, I'm super excited to introduce the next performance. So, everyone, get ready because Grade 5 is up next. And they're about to take you on a journey to Argentina, which is known for its amazing culture. Argentina is famous for... 
Cultural. And today, Grade 5 will show you a cool dance called Octavos Basicos El Carnavalito. During big celebrations in Argentina, like carnival parties. It's a super colorful and lively dance that really shows off the spirit of Argentina. So, hold on tight because Grade 5 is about to bring the joyful culture of Argentina to life with their Octavos Basicos Car Carnavalito dance. Oh, 